Hey, what's up guys? TBL here bringing you some more Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zero's tips, tricks, and gameplays. Last time we covered how to pick up, uh, where to pick up rather, all the XOF patches in the game, and this time we're going to be covering all of Chico's cassette tapes. There are seven in all, scattered all throughout the Ground Zero's mission as well as several of the side ops. Now these can be pretty difficult to spot and obtain, so we're going to be showing you exactly where to pick up each and every one of them. And while these tapes are numbered 1 through 7, you don't have to collect them in any particular order. So without further ado, let's dive on in. Now it's very likely that the first Chico tape you'll encounter is the one given to you by Chico himself. This tape is obtained very early on in the Ground Zeroes mission, immediately after you rescue Chico. It's essentially a storyline item, so it's impossible to miss. Once you've found and liberated Chico from his cell, simply take him over to one of the many rendezvous points and call in a chopper. After that, a cutscene will start, and Chico will simply give you the tape. And congrats, you've picked up your first Chico tape, which is actually labeled tape number three in the game. Next up is Chico's tape number two. It's located in the top guard tower near the admin building. The easiest way into this side of the admin building is to either utilize one of the mini trucks driving around the base, or to use one of the drainage tunnels that'll lead right near this area. This ladder will be on the lefternmost side of the inside area and will lead you straight to the top of the guard tower. There's generally one or two sentries posted at top, so be careful and take them out quietly. Once you've incapacitated the guard, simply drag him inside of the building so he doesn't get spotted, and your next cassette tape will be on top of the desk. There you go. Two down, five more to go. Chico's tape number four can be obtained at two separate times. The method for acquiring it revolves around a POW being held in the Western refugee camp. There's actually been a bit of confusion surrounding this prisoner and when exactly you can rescue him. It was previously reported that he could be rescued after you extract Chico. In a short scene where he's taken over to the eastern side of the camp where three guards are preparing to execute him. But you can actually extract this POW long before it gets to that point. Immediately after starting the Ground Zeroes mission, if you head over to the West Refugee Camp, you'll notice that the POW is being kept in the back side of the camp, underneath a small awning in the back left-hand corner. Incapacitate the guards, and then sneak over there and you can extract him immediately. Once you've got him, simply head over to the nearby extraction point at the starting area for the Ground Zeroes mission and drop him off. Extracted POWs will stay wherever you leave them, so you're free to go on and complete the mission, and then call on the chopper and extract him later. Just make sure to come back later and get him aboard the chopper. Doing this will not only award you the fourth Chico cassette tape, but it will also get you the rescue trophy, or achievement if you're playing on the Xbox platforms. After you've extracted him, simply complete the Ground Zero's mission, and the cassette tape is yours. I should make note that the previously reported method of extracting this POW after you save Chico is perfectly viable, but I find this to be a lot easier since you can do it right at the start of the mission. The next tape we'll be covering is Chico's tape number 5, and it's the last one you can get within the Ground Zero's mission. After starting the Ground Zero's mission, but before rescuing Chico, head over to the admin building where Paz is, and you'll overhear a group of guards talking about the tape. After this short message prompt, Kaz will mark the location of the tape on your map. From here, you can incapacitate the guards, rescue Paws, and then head back up to the surface where you can find the tape sitting on top of a dumpster. It's extremely important to remember that after you rescue Paws, it causes a shift change in the guards, meaning new ones will be spawning and patrolling the area. So they may spot you or any bodies you may have left lying around. Once you've ensured that the way is clear, the dumpster will be back near the stairs in a hidden alley. Simply follow this short path back and you'll see the alley itself. The dumpster and the cassette tape will be immediately to your left. Once you've picked that up, congratulations, you've picked up every single cassette tape located within the Ground Zero's mission itself. Now it's time to move on to the side ops. 
Chico stave number six is located in the side op Eliminate the Renegade Threat. This mission is about assassinating two specific members of the military group within Camp Omega, and the tape itself is located in an armory near the Ground Zero starting point. You'll start the mission out near the prison camp's extraction point, and from there you'll have to make your way around to the front side of the camp. The armory itself is the first one you should find right near the Ground Zero starting point. There will be enemies all over this area, so make sure you're quick and quiet. Unlock the door to the armory, and head on inside. In here, you can stock up on a ton of extra things for the mission, including ammunition, a sniper rifle, and explosives. But in the far left-hand corner, you'll find the cassette tape sitting on the ground. Congratulations, Chico's cassette tape number six is now in your possession. That's five cassette tapes down, with two to go. The next cassette tape is located in the side op, Destroy the Anti-Air Emplacements. In this mission, your objective is to plant C4 on several anti-air emplacement guns located all around Camp Omega. The cassette tape, however, can be earned by completing one of two objectives. You can either rescue all of the POWs held captive in this mission, including the hidden one from Mother Base, or you can destroy all of the anti-air emplacement guns located in this mission instead of just the three that are required. Destroying the anti-air emplacement guns is pretty self-explanatory, but finding the hidden prisoner can be a little difficult. Just like in previous missions, the hidden mother base POW will be in the same area that Paz is located at in the Ground Zeroes mission. Getting down here can be a little on the difficult side since the base is put on permanent alert shortly after you start the mission. Once you make your way down here though, Kaz will inform you that this is the prisoner that he's been looking for, a spy sent from Mother Base to infiltrate Camp Omega. While you're rescuing him, he'll have a lot of insight about the goings-on for Camp Omega, and it makes for a pretty interesting listen. Once you've gotten him to a safe extraction point, deliver him to the chopper, and the extraction achievement slash trophy should be unlocked. Doing this will also grant you the seventh cassette tape at the completion of the mission. Now just head back, finish off any objectives you have remaining, and enjoy a very interesting and action movie-esque cutscene. Once all that's finished, the rewards page after completing the mission will confirm that you've picked up the seventh Chico cassette tape. We've collected a total of six of the Chico cassette tapes thus far. Time for the last one. The final cassette tape is located in the side op Intel Operative Rescue, an on-rail shooting mission where we get a very special cameo. The cassette tape is a completion goal that you'll receive if you get an A rank or higher within the mission. There are a few ways to achieve this. First and foremost is completing the mission in a timely manner. Another way of boosting your completion score is by getting as few kills as possible generally by utilizing non-lethal methods to take out enemies. To this end, you can utilize the Uragon 5 pistol, which knocks out enemies rather than killing them. Well, except maybe that guy. The majority of this mission will take place in the chopper, with Snake merely providing covering fire for the intel operative. Once you've completed the objectives, you'll be treated to a very special cutscene with a very special cameo. That's right, Hideo Kojima himself. Afterwards, if you've accumulated a high enough score and gotten a rank A or S, then the cassette tape will be unlocked along with several other rewards. If you're having a hard time getting a high rank on that mission, I would definitely recommend taking the non-lethal approach, as it seems to generate the most points. But if all goes well, you'll collect Chico's tape number one, the last one we'll be covering in our video. Once you've collected them all, you can listen to them all as a single recording from the main menu or from your iDroid in-game. And that's pretty much how you get every single one of Chico's seven tapes. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel where I'll have a ton more Metal Gear Solid 5 tips and tricks videos coming out, as well as gameplays and commentaries for other games like Call of Duty Ghosts and Titanfall. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. As always, I am the Black Link. You guys stay frosty.